All is quiet here at home tonight, and it looks like tomorrow's going to be another great day. But awaiting the next storm system that is pushing through the middle of the country, causing some uh, stronger storms in northwestern Iowa. And this entire system will work its way eastward as we go into the day tomorrow, uh, producing some rougher weather here in southern Wisconsin around Chicago. And then into tomorrow night and early Friday morning, I'll be watching this thunderstorm complex uh, blowing up here in the lower. Great Lakes. This is future lightning uh, looking ahead over the next uh, few days. And what I'll be watching for Friday morning is how far east and how strong uh, this complex of storms can hold. Because what will happen if we get into the clouds and some of these showers that are lingering from this system, it will limit our instability as we go into the afternoon Friday, which would limit the threat of some stronger storms. But regardless, I do expect more showers and storms to fire up on into Friday evening and Friday. Friday night, and any of these storms uh, do have the capability of becoming stronger. So, uh, kind of a choppy end to our week here for Friday into Saturday. Uh, something else you're going to notice is the humidity increasing. But tomorrow's severe weather threat will stay well to our west. We have some nice weather on the way uh, for our Thursday, but as we go into Friday, that risk moves eastward for the chance of a scattered, uh, severe, or strong storm here across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Uh, tonight's Storm Team 27 Viper radar is scanning clear. We don't have to worry about any showers or uh, thunderstorms overnight. And temperatures, well, they're going to keep falling with those clearing skies across our region and into tomorrow morning. Overnight lows uh, dropping in the mid to low 40s, especially over here in Mercer County, uh, where some temperatures will be closer to upper 30s in a few spots to get out the door tomorrow. So a chilly start to your Thursday, but uh, turning warmer. Now, tomorrow, temperatures not only to around 70, they'll pass that and head on into the mid, even upper 70s in a few spots here by tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow night, the clouds start building in, especially late. Be watching for some of those showers or uh, thunderstorms to try to sneak in here uh, during Friday morning. And the humidity, it's going to be back on Friday. It'll be humid throughout the day. The chance of a shower or a thunderstorm through the morning, uh, but a better chance later in the day toward the evening with showers and thunderstorms expected right on into your Friday night. So stay weather alert here on Friday. We're going to keep an eye on it, of course, as we head into tomorrow and throughout Thursday evening. We'll have a better handle on the timing of those showers and storms. Uh, temperatures uh, currently upper 50s to around 60 degrees, but these will keep sliding on down back into the mid to lower 40s in a few spots by first thing tomorrow morning. A good looking day tomorrow. Once again, almost a repeat of today, just warmer afternoon highs in the upper 70s. And as we look on into your Father's Day weekend, the temperatures on Friday getting close to 80, but humid, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that chance of a shower or storm will actually linger into Saturday. I'll be watching a front that's wiggling around over top of us on Saturday. And uh, that chance of a shower or storm will linger into the afternoon. By Sunday, for your Father's Day, most of that's out of here. We'll catch a break in between storm systems. And then Monday and Tuesday, watching a tropical system uh, coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and that moisture building northward, interacting with another storm system. will keep the chance of showers and storms in Monday and Tuesday. And then we actually cool down, dropping back in the low 70s again next Wednesday.